Hello. All right, I'm back with another crochet video. Yay. Um, <clears throat> look at my head. <laughs> Do you see that? I have 21 braids in my head. So, as you know, that means thick, 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 thick hair. So, it's either going to turn out to be a mess or a masterpiece. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> I am doing a Kanekalon video. This is actually going to be my first true Kanekalon video because the other ones that I labeled Kanekalon were not Kanekalon hair. It was just a synthetic fiber. So this is my first real Kanekalon video. And I am using Ultra Jumbo Braid Kanekalon in color 950, which I had never heard of this color before, but I found it. And it is kind of, it's a really, really good blend of 1B and burgundy. Let's see if I can, if you can see that. So it's probably more 1B with uh, really good um, blends of um, burgundy in it. Because I did like the red before, but it kind of was a little bit too much red. So I think that this is going to turn out to be perfect. It'll probably look black when you first look at it, and then it'll have that uh, burgundy appearance in the light. So, I don't know what length this is. It doesn't say. But what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to use three different lengths in my hair. Lengths. So, um, what I'm going to do is on the very top, I'm going to have this cut directly in half. So it'll be like that. And then starting down, I'm going to have it a little bit longer and then get it, gradually get a little bit shorter for a, a more of a layered look because I think it'll layer itself naturally when you cut it in half, but I want a little bit more of a layered look. What I actually would like, uh, if you've ever seen Think Like a Man 2, I like the way Taraji P. Henson's hair is. So I may try and go for that look, or I may just do whatever. So <clears throat> I had 21 braids, so I need to get started. I will be back with you after I apply some. I may show you the length change. All right, see you in a minute. See you in a few. Okay, so I have a um, three rolls done on each side, and um, what I was gonna do was make the bottom part longer and then I uh, use the hair cut in half but as it turns out this hair is long enough that this is the section that's just cut directly in half so um, when I get closer to the top I'll just trim a little bit off but uh, I have a little bit done in the back not much I have three rows in the front and this is exactly one half of a pack so um, let me show you the back because it's a little bit different this time. Usually I just leave um, the hair in a ponytail. The braids come down and then I put them in a ponytail and kind of make a little bun. This time what I did was I had the lady braid those together. So this is the part. They were all braided straight back and then they were braided across. And I took the end piece and I'm crocheting that together and um, I'll put some on here to try and cover up that lump and that may make it so that I can put it in a higher ponytail because usually I had the uh, ponytail showing so we, I couldn't put it up in a high ponytail just low ponytails <clears throat> so um, I am using the same four knot method that I did with my um, deep twist and this is how far I'm spacing them apart which is probably a mistake I should probably make them wider especially on the bottom because it's gonna be a lot of hair you see I'm half I'm not even halfway done and this is how much I have so it's gonna be really thick 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 so um, I'm gonna take the next two rows and I'm gonna cut just a little bit 
to make these two rows come right about here because the hair will be curled at the end and I want a slight layered effect when I do it. So I'm going to get started on these next. Maybe I'll do three rows. Again, I'll do the three rows with the hair slightly cut about that length. All right, so I'll be back when that's done and show you real quick, okay? Bye. All right, so I have the next three rows done and that's done with the shorter hair. I wanted to show you real quick to see how I'm getting my layered effect. Now, it's barely discernible, but you can see how some goes down to here and then I have this that comes right to there. So that's on both sides. Um, and the next three rows are going, um, one, two, three. This is actually gonna be where my part is. I wanted the smaller braids where the part is, but the lady that braids my hair put them down here, even though I wanted it here. So I'm gonna have to do what I can. It's gonna be a wider part, but oh well. C'est la vie. So let me show you the back. <clears throat> I'm doing the same thing with that so I stop here I'm probably gonna add a few more at this length and then when I get to this part I'm gonna do shorter length and maybe here even uh, more shorter length just for this portion because the um, the top of the hair when I do this three all of this is gonna be the same length I'm not gonna go any shorter so when I uh, cut it from this length to like right here all the rest of it in the front will be that length and then in the back I will do some a little bit shorter for a, a better laying or layering effect in the back so here's my problem it's five o'clock in the afternoon and the Sun is already going down so um, I don't have anywhere in my house that there's good lighting so trying to do a video at night when I finish it is not gonna probably not gonna work so more than likely when you see me next my hair will be all finished I won't get to go through the curling part or anything unless I wait a few days to curl it because um, the next couple days in school I'm gonna be wearing a ponytail anywhere so it really doesn't make much sense to curl it so maybe I'll wait until Friday morning or excuse me Thursday evening and go ahead and show the curling but if I come back and you see me completely done it's because I didn't wait so I will see you in a few minutes or days we'll see hello I wanted to show real quick because I have a flat ironing my hair right now how it looked after I finished it um, I actually did not want to flat iron it but I'm not going to have a chance to finish it by tomorrow and it's way too thick to try and put in a ponytail. I've tried, I can't get it so I have to thin it out. Um, over here I've started flat iron it. You can see that it's gotten straight. Um, I'm going to leave it straight until Friday when I have a chance to curl it. Let me move this out of the way so you can see better the straight part. Okay, so that's the part I've straightened. It got really straight. I really didn't want it that straight, but I am going to add a little curl to it. So hopefully that'll, well, it probably won't do much. But anyway, that's how it looks for now. Straightened. I'll be back Thursday, Friday. Hey, I'm back. Okay, what I decided to do was go ahead and make this video with the hair straight and then come back and make a separate video when I curl it because I don't know exactly how long it's going to take me to get around curling it, so might as well just get the video on there. So um, last night I finished installed and then it was pretty late and I had planned on just putting it in a ponytail and going about my next few days and then curling it but the hair was so thick I couldn't get it back into a ponytail without putting way too much tension on my edges so um, I decided to blow dry it to thin it out a little bit and that just kinda turned into a mess I had the very top straight and then bushy underneath because I 
can't control the brush and the blow dryer very well. So what I did was flat ironed it because this Kanankalon hair, it says heat resistant, but it didn't say to what degree. So I just put it on three on my flat iron, which I believe is about 300 degrees. And um, I went through and straightened it all out. So this is how it looked for people who like straight hair. You know, you can see the Kanekalon here, flat ironed. And you can see where I did the layers at too, which doesn't really help while it's bone straight. It's not as straight because I had it in a ponytail today. So it got a little bit from the uh, ponytail. So <clears throat> for those of you who are always complaining about my parts, knots have never really bothered me, but I see that they bother some people. Look at that. I tried a knot free method, but what it ended up being to me is a less knot method. I guess it turned out better on this side than this side because you can still see the knots a little bit on this side, but you don't see them hardly at all on this side. Um, I think I can leave a link or something since I'm not showing you how I did it. Um, maybe I can squeeze one in here. Nah, I always leave the perimeter. I don't crochet at the very tips anymore because I want to keep the edges of my hair. So I don't do that anymore. But I guess I can just leave a link if you want to know how I did it. Um, let me show you the back of this hair. So this is how it looks from the side. And that side. So it turned out pretty well. You know, it's thick. You can see even straightened out, it's thick. Very thick. But, um, I know some people do like straight style, so I guess they would appreciate to see how the Kaneka line looks flat ironed. And, um, I will be curling it soon, and I'll post that video and when I do curl it it's not gonna be a big curl it's just gonna be like like my first connect line video that I bumped it that's kind of what this is gonna be like so um I'll see you when I make that video I'm not sure when it'll be but it'll be within a week or so I believe all right any questions or comments please leave them below I'm gonna leave all the information in the comment box so please check that before you answer questions because I usually don't answer questions if I had addressed them in the video already or the comment box so hope you like it for the straight people I just hope that straighten it isn't gonna ruin it when I go to curl it because this texture is really straight all right See ya.